Hello again. So now when we create our volume group, we can attach it to a virtual machine directly from the setting of the volume group, or we can attach it to a specific virtual machine from the virtual machine setting. So let's try the virtual machine setting. We go to virtual machine and we chose, for example, this one that have an operation system. We can click on it and click launch console to see how it will look like the virtual machine from the inside. And here is it. So this is an Ubuntu virtual machine. So if we click on right here and try to check the disk available in this virtual machine, like that, and we click on the disk right here, you will see that this virtual machine have its own hard disk with a virtual disk, and this is the size of it. This is the Nutanix virtual disk with 11 gigabytes. So if we back to the virtual machine right here and we click on update that means we want to change the setting of this update right here this is the name the option etc the cpu and we go to the volume group option right here so you haven't added any volume group yet we simply click on add volume group so if we click on it it will show the list of the different volume group available in the cluster so right here we have only one so we can choose the one that is available right here or we can simply create a new one directly from this place it will do the same step that we did in the creation of the volume group so we chose the volume group one that we created and we click add so now he will add this virtual machine to the volume group here is it you see right here the volume group volume g1 from the iSCSI and if you want to add some other option we can enable it but our option that we talk about it in this lecture is the volume group so we click save and if we back to the virtual machine console right here you will see that new hard disk is available with 100 gigabytes so right here a new hard disk is added by using the volume group. It's like a second hard disk in this virtual machine. So the same if we go to the storage and volume group and here we edit this volume group by giving a new virtual disk right here and we go to the storage and click add new disk. We chose the container, where is it? Of course we can add a disk from another container. So the rule of the other container will be applied to this disk. For example, if you want to use a disk that does not consume input output we can put it in a container that does not have a flash enabled or other option that will consume the input output so we chose container we give it for example 115 gigabytes and we click add then the same we add another one for example 200 gigabytes click add now our container will have two new virtual disks so right here you see the number of virtual disk is three it will submit it if we click save now our volume group have three virtual disks so if we back to the virtual machine right here you will find that we have a new disk available as what we created in the volume group so right here, this is the second one with 115. Of course, the Ubuntu read the size as 116, but in Windows, it will show us as 115. Then the same for the 200. We have in Ubuntu the size as 215. So this is the idea of the volume group. We can do it. So we can close this one. We can also go to the volume group. We click add. And here we can choose to connect this volume group to the different virtual machines. So you see right here, by default, you have the Ubuntu that we attach it to this container. It's already show up in the list of the VM. So we can click attach VM, allow. Then we can select the virtual machine. For example, VM1 that we created, we click attach. He will attach the volume group to the virtual machine one then the same we can add another vm we chose the vm for example ubuntu number one we click attach and he will attach the same virtual disk to the different virtual machine it's like a shared storage between the different virtual machine so right here you see we have ubuntu with zero and another ubuntu with one and the vm one of course if we want to delete someone we can simply click on this symbol right here and he will 
delete the virtual machine from the attached volume group so here is it we click save and now our volume group connected to the second virtual machine if we go right here we'll have that this volume group connected to the two virtual machine and here we can go to the virtual disk you see the different disk available in this volume group the first the second the third the size and the read latency the right input output the right bandwidth etc then volume group task if you have any task available in this volume group you can see all the tasks that happen in this one for example attached the volume group to the vm1 and here we delete the vm1 from the volume group and the same for the other information right here so this is the idea of volume group it's very simple it's like a second or the third hard disk you add it to the virtual machine or you can connect it to the external application by enabling the external authentication to this volume group so see you in the next lecture